Team Deathmatch. What's going on guys? Today I have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay and I've not uploaded COD to my channel in a very long time. So I'm pretty happy to have some Call of Duty gameplay on my channel again. I really do miss uploading it just a little bit. But unfortunately there's a reason for that. Me not uploading it. It's because Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghosts, they just have not been that good at Call of Duties. Let's be honest, nobody really likes them. The sales are at an all time low. But I do believe there are better days ahead for the Call of Duty franchise. Black Ops 3 is coming out in about 4 months, and I think there's reason for optimism in that game. Treyarch is making the game, and I think they are the best Call of Duty developer, and I think that they'll, they'll really balance out the game. They'll balance out their thrust jumps or whatever they're calling them nowadays, and I think that they'll you know balance the guns the way they should be balanced like they were in their old games. The maps are usually good in Treyarch games. So I am looking forward to Black Ops 3. They also have a beta coming out for Black Ops 3. And I do think the beta will make a difference if they learn from it. Like if, if the game's just like already done when the beta comes out, you know, it won't do anything. But if they uh, let let the beta teach them and you know, you know, like show them what's exploited in the game, because you know the Call of Duty community, whatever the cheesy setups are, that they will be used. And hopefully they figure those out. You know, tone down some guns, maybe remove some OP stuff, and maybe the game will be better. I really have my fingers crossed that the game is better. And I think Treyarch will deliver this year. And at the worst, if the multiplayer is bad, there's zombies. But let's just hope there's a good multiplayer and a good zombies. Like the old days in Call of Duty. But I want to talk about some advanced warfare for a second. This game is so beyond hectic. And I think the main reason no one likes this game is because... this. I'm not going to say no one, you know. If you like this game, whatever. Maybe you like, you know, the new brand of Call of Duty. But the skill gap is huge. Like, you have to be really good to dominate this game, and that wasn't true in old Call of Duties. Because in this game, you know, if you are, like, a pro with your exosuit and everything, you'll dominate over people who, like, don't know all these spots and stuff. So, you know, if you sit in your room all night and play this game, you know, you know, drink your Mountain Dews and do other badass stuff, and, you know, you reek of body odor and you just, you know, addicted to this game, you're going to dominate all these casual players who don't know all these spots and... They don't know how to use exosuits as efficiently as these kids do. And it's just, I think that's why a lot of people don't like this game because you have to adapt. And I don't really want to adapt, I just want to play, you know, old Call of Duty how it was before because that, that was pretty successful. They got to where they were before based off their old games. Like, I don't know why they don't go back to the Modern Warfare 2 formula, you know, of just games and how, like, the guns and the kill streaks. Like, Modern Warfare 2 without one man army. And just one without one man army, even with all the other bullshit in it, just with that one man army, that's probably one of the best games of all time. But even with that one man army, that game was still super fun to me. Probably the best Call of Duty in my opinion. A lot of people like Call of Duty 4, and I think that's a really fun game too. But I just don't know why they won't go back to the old formula that got them so successful. Like all these, all these games nowadays are future shooters, and like why not you go back to the you know the modern day shooters like Modern Warfare 2. As I said before, and just don't make all this like, make, don't make the game so complicated. Just you no, know, you get a gun, you get some kill streaks, put on some perks and a, like a grenade, and you're, you're ready to go. But all these exo movements and just like all the verticality introduced into the game because of the exo movements, you know, all these buildings you can jump onto, it just doesn't feel like Call of Duty anymore. But there is some bright news for all you old Call of Duty fans that th they are bringing back old Call of Duties. Uh, the Xbox One will be X the Xbox One will be backwards compatible with Xbox 360 games, and you know that's pretty cool because you can play Black Ops One, MW Two, all the old Call of Duties. And if the backwards compatibility thing is true, I would definitely be uploading a lot more Call of Duty to my channel because Call of Duty is just it's fun to upload. It's fun to play when it's fun. It, did that make sense? Like when the game's fun, it's just fun to upload and share and everything. So I just hope that. Black Ops 3 is good. Hopefully they bring back some old gen games. And this this Call of Duty game, it might, it might be good. It just might be a little bit good. But I think part of the reason Call of Duty is bad isn't even, like, the developers can't even do anything. Just the community is really bad. You know, any little thing, any little OP gun will be used in 75% of lobbies. As in Advanced Warfare, pretty much, you know, 8 out of every 12 players in the lobby use the BAL. And that gun is, like... 
that kind of just cheese. You know, it's like an SMG and an assault rifle in one. So hope let's hope they have some gun balance in this game. Some gun balance is huge. Like in Modern Warfare 2, the gun balance was balanced because every single gun was OP and usable. So yeah, if that's a way to make every single gun OP, that'll make the guns balanced. Uh, nah, I don't know. Maybe they can do that. Maybe. But let, let's just hope that Call of Duty will be good this year. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to like the video if you could. That would mean a lot to me. Subscribe to the channel and comment down anything down below. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Nice work, Sentinel.